Guys, in this video tutorial, we will learn about the step response within the MATLAB. So, first of all, we must know about a transfer function of a system. Actually, transfer function is in between the input and the output. The simplest example of transfer function is that if you are giving any input to any system, then there must be an output. And that system to which we are giving the input must have a mathematical equation like if you can say that if there is braking system of the car or if we have a mass attached with that of spring or we have multiple metallic bars connected with each other to transfer a force on the other side are there are if and, and if there are gears involved in all this process there must be an input and there must be an output we know that and every system must have its own equation an equation must be in the form of like you can say like a We can say that EQN is equal to S plus 1 divided by S 2 plus 3S plus 1. So in the numerator part, you will see that it is written S plus 1. And in the denominator part, it is S raised to power 2 plus 3s plus 1 here s is a variable but this entire equation is actually representing a system both the numerator part and the denominator part is actually depict a solid system i have already given you the examples that this system can be a mass state with that of spring or the suspension system of a car or any other thing like that okay we we must have to comment it out because it is not the part of our code okay this is just for like uh, you can say that it is just for uh, for your learning okay now we can see that we have this equation that is s plus 1 divided by s2 plus 3s plus 1 so we know that there is a numerator part numerator is equal to we must have to declare it in the form of matrix that is s plus one so it is one and one why it is one and one because we know that with s this s there is a coefficient that is one and this one is actually coefficient with s raised to the power zero so both are having the coefficients 1 and 1 then we will move towards the denominator and it is we will see that what it what is inside the denominator we can see that with s raised to the power 2 the coefficient is 1 sorry yeah you can also write here 1 so here also 1 then with this s s raised to the power 1 the coefficient is 3 then with this plus 1 the coefficient is 1 so we have numerator the numerator and denominator actually these are just the variables you can write anything like num denum or like n and d for your easiness you can take any sort of variable all will just happen that these values will be stored inside these variables.
this will be inside this variable and this will be inside this variable then we will declare a new variable that is t underscore f u n that is the transfer function transfer function is actually the function through which a system is actually doing what to transfer the input to the output so that thing is actually that function through which a system can send its input to the output that actually that function is called as the transfer function so you matlab is offering a built-in command of tf just write tf here and write numerator comma denominator and we must have to check the spelling because spelling must be same numerator and denominator okay now this is so first of all we must have to save it and then okay okay it's saved and okay now you can see that matlab in command window matlab is giving some uh, equation that s plus 1 divided by s2 plus 3s plus 1 and declared it as continuous time transfer function the same thing that we are uh, discussing on the top then we will move towards step underscore 1 is equal to step of t underscore fun okay now it has given us the step response what is actually a step response step response but first of all we must know about the response of a system because a system can respond in different ways if any sort of input is given to it like if we are applying sine wave the system will respond differently if we uh, give the system a cause or square wave or you can say that a sort of wave or a staircase wave in all these in all these cases the system will respond differently from all other systems so this 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 will be the unique property of a specific system so step is actually step function is actually a rising edge you can say that a pure rising edge to which a particular system used to respond how it respond it is it is not our like it, it how it will resp how it will respond the step command or step function will tell us about that when we will plot it we will see that now it's busy you can see that okay now you can see that this is our step response it is just like uh, you can say that a damping oscillation type that oscillation is just fading wait okay they also used to say that in that because this is a new version of MATLAB, so it is some bit change. So we can write this step of TF num means the numerator numi rater and denominator 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 and then they tell us that you can write plot step but like a uh, 
step under is underscore one is equal to because we need that first step command will do whatsoever what it needs and then it will store all the values inside step underscore one and then we will do plot step underscore one so now now we got this response from the from this system that is the step response of this system so although if step function is concerned it is a pure rising pure like a very sharp rising edge but here you can see that system gives us output although it is rising but it is some bit having some sort of curvature in it so hopefully you learn something about the step response of any system so thanks for watching